What's going on impeccable people? Welcome back to another impeccable fishing adventure. We're currently headed to Lake Geneva to get on the night bite of big old marble eyes, AKA walleyes, greenbacks, all sorts of names for them. But what we're trying to do is target walleyes. It's gonna be a night bite tonight. I actually am not very familiar with going out and fishing walleye on Lake Geneva at night. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a new experience for me and possibly you. So what the plan is, I've got my uh, I've got my trolling setups here. I've got it rigged up with stick baits right now. We're gonna head out. We're gonna start trolling walleye at about one to one point two miles per hour. And depending on what the fish are telling us, we're either gonna speed our troll up a little bit, or we're gonna slow our troll down a little bit. And um, you know, we'll play with the colors of the baits and everything. And once we start getting some hits on a specific rod, then we'll start to switch over and dial all our rods in um, to similar similar bait size, profile, um, speed, all that good stuff. So then we really want to get dialed in and see if we can start getting more walleye to bite. And you know, walleye are walleye. They always seem to relate to the same spots no matter what lake you're on. They like that drop off. They like hanging out there. Once it starts to get a little darker, they'll move up into the shallows and the weeds to feed. So we're going to start fishing on the drop off, see if we can't find some weeds. And then, you know, maybe a little bit later into the night we'll move up a little bit shallower and see if we can't pick up some of those big walleye that are going into feed. So that's the plan. We will see you at the boat launch. Okay so what my plan is is to try and stay along the 15 foot contour line and I'm not going to have any boards um, going out any deeper. I'm going to keep all my boards uh, to the shallow side of the boat. So I'm going to have two boards on the shallow side of the boat and I'm going to have one rod in my hand with a crankbait or a stick bait right behind the boat so I can kind of pump it and give it some action see if I can't get the fish to bite that way. So what we're going to do now is head over to the 15 foot contour on the shoreline that I want to start on and we'll start trolling and we'll keep you guys posted if I do hook up with any fish. I left my other camera at Captain Hillman's house, so sorry guys, but we're only going to have that camera tonight, so we're going to have to make it work. Alright, here's the first lure we're going to send off. It's a husky jerk. We're going to send it off the uh, starboard side of the boat in shallower, and we're going to have uh, it on a planer board. So I've got my uh, auto chart live going right now, so I'm actually making a map of the bottom rather than just using the standard map. It's going to help me really zone in on those contours and follow where the fish are. So I can get really, really dialed in with this. Otherwise, with your base map, it's fine. But it's not as accurate as if you just take auto chart live of the, uh, the bottom and the contour. Here's the next bait we're going to be sending down. We're going to do something very similar. We'll probably let, you know, 40 foot of line out and then another 40. We're trolling at about 1.1 to 1.2 miles per hour right now. And I'm going to put my third rod out and I'm just going to drag one right behind the boat and uh, kind of pump it every so often just to give it a little action, see if we can't get a reaction strike. We got, we got a fish on, boys! Heck yeah! Alright, first fish of the night. It's about 6.45 p.m. Doesn't feel like a monster, but I got heavy tackle, so it's going to feel a little bit lighter. It could be a nice one. Not bad, not bad at all. Not a monster, but a nice little eater. We've got a beautiful Lake Geneva walleye right here. Hooked it right in the mouth with a fire tiger reef runner. Not a bad fish at all. Decent size, it's perfect for the frying pan. Maybe they're gonna start turning on. We're kinda 
trolling through the shallow bay right now. It's about 14 feet deep right here. We're trolling at 1.4 miles per hour. And uh, I got this guy on the Fire Tiger Reef Runner. So let's get our rod, let's get our rod back in, keep fishing, see if we can't get a few more walleyes for the frying pan. All right, so usually where there's one, there's more. So we're gonna turn right back around and troll right back over that spot where we got this walleye. I set a waypoint down so I know exactly where it is. We'll troll right back over there and see if we can't pick up a couple more. There he is, there he is, there he is. That's a nice one. Oh yeah, here we go. Dang. He freaking smoked it, guys. I was holding that one in my hand. I just went over a hole too. It went from about 13 feet and it dropped down to about 18 feet. And I was just holding this rod and it just slammed it. It's like I'm pulling in a log right now. Oh, it's a big old pike. Dang it. Big monster pike too. Hey, we'll take it. Some action out here. Next time, hopefully, we'll get a nice big old wally, but I'll take a pike for right now. All right, guys. We're starting to catch some fish here. We got this nice, beautiful, beautiful pike. It's still kind of lethargic. He didn't fight too hard, but uh, it was a nice, it was fun to reel him in. So let's get a quick measure on him see how long he is and we'll release him. Uh, all right, 32 inch pike. Can't complain with that. He just smacked that pink lemonade reef runner and uh, then he just kind of sat there. I reeled him in. Felt like a big log that I was reeling in. All right, let's get him back. Get our lines back in the water, see if we can't get a couple more walleye. See you later, bud. Oh. All right. You guys should be familiar with the Pink Lemonade Reef Runner crankbait. This is my all-time favorite crankbait. This is what that pike just smashed. All right. We have turned around. We've just got all our lines back in the water. Everything's resituated. And we're going to come up on this hump. And then we got about a 15, we got a 15 foot mud flat that we're going to be going over and it runs adjacent to some weeds. So this has been a good spot so far. I got a, got that pike and I got that walleye. So let's see what happens on this next pass. There he is. Right when I was pumping her. All right, we hooked up with another one. It's that pump. You just pump it, make the bait, just get a ton of action, and then you slow it right down. Just triggers that reaction strike out of them. It feels like another big one. I could actually feel this one fighting, so I'm not sure. I, it felt like a walleye to me, but it could be a pike. Now I'm just reeling it in, it feels like a big log again. All right, let's see what we got here. Pike or walleye, pike or walleye. I'm excited. Ooh, it's a nice wally. Yeah, that's what we came here for. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Another nice chunk of a fish. Look at this gorgeous walleye. Lake Geneva walleye. I think it's like December 15th right now. This is a nice walleye right here. This is gonna be a perfect pan frying walleye. I would like to get into a few uh, larger female walleyes. I believe this is a female, it's pretty fat. But um, this is great. There's no wind out here. It's calm, it's like glass. It's December 15th and we're catching nice Lake Geneva walleyes. That's a beautiful walleye right there. All right, let's get a measure on it real quick. All right, we've got a 19 inch walleye right here. 
We're gonna keep this one for the for the pan. This is a nice eater walleye. This is gorgeous. I am super stoked to get this thing home and fry it up. All right, let's get our line back in there. Keep fishing. And actually, one second. I can't forget to show you guys the bait that I got it on real quick. And of course, got it on my favorite bait, the Pink Lemonade Reef Runner. This bait catches more fish than any other bait I've fished with before. I love this bait, especially for walleye, trout, pike, you name it. Everything's crushing this bait. You gotta get yourself one. Whoa, all right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to call it a night. We got three solid hours of fishing in. We caught two nice walleyes, one nice pike. It's starting to snow. It's dark out. I got to work in the morning, so we're going to call it a night. If you did like this video, please hit that like button. It really helps a lot. And if you want to go on more adventures with me, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Peace.